What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about what you can expect to see uh, with tomorrow's reset, which of course will be February the 15th. First of all, let's talk about some of the items you can expect to see in the store for Bright Dust. The Robot Dance and Spinning Juggle emote will both be available. Those are 30th anniversary emotes. The Mud Cake Sparrow and the Obsidian Wing Ship. And also there will be a uh, LMG or an exotic LMG ornament. Uh, the You Think Your Big Time ornament will be available as well. Those are some of the items that will be available this week in the store for Bright Dust. Also this week, the Exo Challenge will be Simulation Safeguard. The Empire Hunt will be the Technocrat. When it comes to the Nightfall, we're going to go back to the Lake of Shadows. This is a great time to farm those mats. If you're needing golf balls, if you're needing prisms, whatever the case may be, this is a quick Nightfall that you can farm, especially on 1350, very easily and very fast and get, definitely get some of those mats built up before Season 16 and the Witch Queen release next Tuesday. Also this week's weapons will be the Hot Head and the Hung Jury. This will be the last chance to get the Hung Jury. It's one of those weapons that's getting vaulted. We're not quite sure when it will be added back into the game. So if you're looking for a Hung Jury or a God Rolled Hung Jury, this will be a great time to farm that, along with farming some mats in this week's Nightfall of the Lake of Shadows. When it comes to the Vault of Glass, it will be the Wait For It Challenge, and this week's weapon is the Vision of Confluence. When it comes to Dares of Eternity, the Braytech and Lost Pacific armor will be available along with the General World Loot Pool weapons. And last but not least, this week will be Iron Banner. This will be the last one of the season, of course. There are several weapons that are being vaulted from Iron Banner. So several of those Iron Banner weapons are going to be going away. Uh, the submachine gun, uh, the pulse rifle, and a couple others. Those are going to be gone. So if you're looking for those weapons still, it'll be a great time to farm those. Also, we're going to have uh, bonus uh, crucible ranks this week. So you're going to get bonus crucible ranks along with Iron Banner. So if you're looking to farm some good weapons, this would be a great time to do it because of course it's going to be several weeks before we get another Iron Banner within Season 16. And the one thing I wanted to mention before I, I kind of end the video here is make sure that you claim all of your rewards uh, from this season. So if you have any engrams or anything, if, you know, uh, your crucible vendors, your uh, Vanguard vendors and so on, make sure you have those and get those claimed because once, uh, of course, the Witch Queen is released next Tuesday, all of those old rewards will be gone. So that you'll actually lose them if you do not claim them before the end of Season 15. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.